Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Angel Marino, but you can call me Mac Daddy. For today's video, I wanted to do something a little different. I get asked all the time, kind of like what my go-to makeup is, what my everyday makeup routine is, and I kind of figured I would show you guys kind of like what that is. I'm really gonna break down the areas of my makeup that I really spend a little more time perfecting when I don't have a lot of time. It's all about picking and choosing your battles where you're really gonna invest a little more time, where you can cut back a little bit more. So I really kind of break that down in this video, and this is what I came up with. So if you guys wanna know how achieve this look keep on watching so we're gonna go ahead and get started with skin I really have been loving this Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte magic cream I do believe this is like a sample size that I got um, but I literally have been loving it so much and I like to just take it and literally just apply it all over my skin the consistency of this is a little bit thicker it is a cream it's not what I normally use which is more like a gel based kind of moisturizer but as of lately, I've just been feeling like my skin's been a little bit more dry, so I do like how the cream feels. Gotta show our under eyes some love too, so I'm gonna be using this NARS Total Replenishing Eye Cream. Just really gives my under eye area really nice hydration. It really helps with keeping that concealer looking nice and smooth. So moving on to foundation, I'm gonna be using this Lancome Skin Feels Good. This is supposed to be like a tinted moisturizer. I've been using this like crazy, you guys, because it is just so amazing. It's perfect for summer. If you want something super lightweight that still gives you some nice coverage, this is definitely the one. I'm just taking it on my beauty blender. You can apply it with your fingers as you would like a moisturizer, but I just like to use a beauty blender just because it smooths everything else really nicely. Now, I do wanna build a little bit more coverage on my cheeks, so I'm gonna go in with my RCMA foundation. You guys already know I love this. This is like my go-to. It will forever be one of my go-tos, and I'm gonna be using shade Shinto 3. And again, I'm just adding this like on my cheeks just for a little extra coverage. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using this KKW Beauty Concealer in shade five. You guys already know, I've been loving this. I've been using this like crazy. It's definitely become one of my go-tos lately. Just gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I used to be obsessed with Shape Tape. I really liked the amount of coverage that it gave me and the consistency, but I feel like this concealer gives me a pretty comparable amount of coverage, but the consistency is a lot lighter. It doesn't feel as thick and heavy as like a shape tape. It just feels really nice and lightweight, which I can appreciate because you don't want your concealer to feel super heavy. So this definitely gets the job done and it gives me the coverage that I want. And for like an everyday makeup look, Obviously, like the big focus for me is always skin, making sure that my skin looks nice and flawless, my under eyes looking nice and bright, nice and smooth. So this is definitely probably where I spend the most time in the makeup process, is really, really perfecting the skin, making sure she looks smooth and flawless and filtered. And these under eyes, honey, they have gotta be snatched, girl. They gotta look real nice and bright. I need to look like I slept for a cool 12 hours, cause I normally sleep like four or five, if I'm lucky. I know there's gonna be people watching this like, girl, that's a lot of coverage for an everyday makeup routine, but you know what? There's some girls, they commit to their full coverage. And that's me. I sometimes I feel like I don't even know what takes me longer. My foundation and like highlighting and kind of getting the complexion together or like eyeshadow. So in days like, where I'm trying to just kind of do like my everyday makeup look, whether it's like a work day, I'm heading to a meeting, whatever. I think this is where I spend the most of my time. So to set my under eye area, I'm gonna be using this Pure Cosmetics Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I like to just take it with a fluffier, denser brush. That doesn't make sense, fluffy and dense. Well, it, she kind of is fluffy, but she is dense at the same time. So we're just gonna go with that. And I'm just gonna dip into my powder and just kind of press this underneath my eye area. Again, we want these eyes to look nice and smooth. You know, sometimes I gotta like pick and choose my battles when I'm getting ready because I have to figure out like how much time do I really have to get glam? And then at that point I really figure out like, okay, we're gonna spend about X amount of time on like complexion 
and we're gonna throw on a lash, a little brow, a little contour, and call it a day. So this is one of those things where I'm just kind of like, let's take a little extra time to make sure that the skin looks really good, the under eyes look nice and bright and smooth, and everything else will kind of just be a little more finessed, if you know what I mean. People always ask me if I bake. My answer is sometimes things like this where it's like an everyday makeup look, like I'm just going somewhere really fast. I like the method of just kind of like applying and pressing and just kind of setting right away. If it's more like a red carpet or something where I'm gonna be like on camera, then maybe I'll kind of take a couple more minutes to really bake to make sure that it's really nice and set and that it's not gonna move. Moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna be using this MAC Cosmetics Medium Tan Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm just gonna use that on a fluffy blending brush. I'm just picking up some of that powder. And I'm just gonna buff it onto my cheeks. I like to use a nice circular motion when applying my bronzer. Now if I was going out or if it was an event, I would really make sure that the cheeks are nice and snatched and normally my contour <laughs> is a little bit more I don't want to use the word intense because I don't feel like my contour is really ever intense, but it just, it's more sculpted. My face is more sculpted when I have like events or a red carpet, but for like an everyday look, I kind of just like to just make it look like I've just been laying out in the sun for a few hours. So I'm a little bit more like free handed with the application. It's not, you know, super precise. It's not super like chiseled. It's just kind of more you know, just like free-handed. To me, my nose contour is one of those things where whether I'm going to like a red carpet or to Target down the street, nose needs to be snatched. You know, nothing crazy, just a little pinch, just something a little soft. Normally for like a big red carpet or like an event or something, I'll like bake the sides of my nose to really, really, really like pinch her and snatch her up. That's a little too much for like an everyday, it's like an everyday thing. I just, you know, the girls just can't take it. Your everyday girls can't take it. I don't want to do that to them. So, you know, we're just going to do a little blend, a little ha ha ha, a little hoo hoo hoo. For my brows, I tend to use like a brow powder, a pencil, a gel, all that jazz. But today we're just going to use this Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow. And this is just to kind of like, you know, comb through them, give them a little bit of a body, a little bit of tint. Um, it just kind of adds a little to the brow without doing the most, which is kind of like the theme of today. So we're gonna be pretty okay with just running a little gimme brow through the brows for this. Picking and choosing battles. I'm not gonna spend five minutes on my brows, but I will spend five minutes gluing on a lash. For my eyes today, I'm gonna to be using this Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie Eyeshadow Palette. I thought it would be the perfect thing for this kind of look. So like my go-to is literally like one color in the crease and then a really pretty shimmer like on the lid. Shimmer shadows or like a glitter will always, always, always make your eyes look like you literally took 20 hours when really you probably took like two minutes. So with that being said, I'm just gonna take a fluffy blending brush and we're gonna go into this shade right in here called Strip, which is this nice mustardy kind of shade. And I'm just gonna start to add this into my crease. I didn't even really apply primers for a look like this. I just literally kind of take whatever was left from my foundation and just kind of like pat it out. And then I'll go in with the color. And then just kind of use your finger to you know, just kind of tap the edges a little bit, finesse her. I feel like this look, it's, it's like an everyday makeup look. I really like this color though, this color strip. Looks so pretty on the, on the eyes. I really like this color though, it looks so pretty on the eyes. I'm definitely gonna have to reach back for this palette again for something more dramatic for sure. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and pick up that same shade but I'm gonna run it underneath my lash line just to kind of frame the eye. I love this color. The more that it's like on my eyes, the more I fall in love. And I'm gonna show you guys how a little sparkle and shine really finesses the eyes. And I mean, this eye to this one, this one looks like I spent 20 minutes. This one looks like I spent four. 
For my lashes, I'm gonna be using these Huda Beauty Lashes. These are in the style Jade number 13. I like them because they're a little drama, but not super crazy and dramatic. So I'm just gonna pop these on my eyes. To really help to frame my eyes and to especially conceal like any lash bands or kind of like, have you guys ever had it where you put on a lash and you can kind of see the skin between the lash and like your natural lashes? I always use a liner to make sure that it's nice and concealed and it really helps to frame the eye. I'm gonna be using this Stila Smudge Stick in the shade Stingray. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Hmm. It might feel a little uncomfortable kind of an uncomfortable area, but makes the world of difference. Especially right in that inner corner. Do you guys see the difference between this eye and this eye? You can't tell me you don't see the difference. It's like a huge difference. I especially like to get into like that inner corner right in here, especially if the lashes don't kind of go all the way to the inner corner, which they normally don't, because that would totally bug your eyes if they did. For mascara today, I'm gonna be using this MAC Extended Play Mascara. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna start off with the top, just to kind of help to make them blend a little bit better. And also the bottom. Bottom mascara is also one of those things I cannot, I cannot do it unless I have it. Like I have to have bottom mascara, it makes such a big difference. Really quickly too, I probably wouldn't do this for like an everyday thing because it's a little time consuming, but I really, really love this tool. This is from Reveal Beauty. It basically is like a little like eyelash curler, but it doesn't have, it's not a traditional eyelash curler basically, it just kind of clamps. So you're able to really get precisely right where you want and really kind of like bind your natural lash with your falsy. So now that my eyes are done, we're gonna finish the skin. I'm gonna spritz a little bit of this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray on my face first, just to kind of get a little moisture going. And of course, whether it's the carpet, whether it's a walk to Target or Starbucks, can't go anywhere without my glow. I'm gonna be using my very own Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati. Um, the shade Illuminati is like one of our top selling shades. It's actually like the number one um, skew that we sell inside of Sephora stores. If you guys have not checked this out, make sure you guys check it out. Visit your local Sephora, go play with it, go swatch it. I promise you, you will fall in love. Uh, but this is one that is like one of my go-tos. It's been one of my go-tos since I've created it. It just goes with everything. It's a beautiful neutral. It literally can go with any makeup look. And like I said, my makeup is not complete until my glow is popping. So we're gonna throw this baby on. So the way that I like to use it is I'll just kind of sprinkle a little bit of the powder onto the cap, and then I'll just work from the cap. I mean, I feel like I don't even have to say anything. All you have to do is watch, just watch, just look at this. That's all you have to do, just look, just watch. So this is definitely a part of like the whole finessing your makeup because again, I think complexion is the biggest piece with like making your makeup look like it's overall kind of complete and really zhuzhed, but definitely adding a highlight really just elevates everything. I think it just really kind of makes it look like you spent a lot of time doing your makeup when you probably did it because it just really adds like that nice kind of pop and like almost like a wow factor. We're gonna call it a wow factor. It adds a wow factor to your makeup that literally makes your makeup look like you got it professionally done when really all you did was add a little glow, a little diamond glow to your cheeks. I'm also going to apply a little down the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose. And I'm also gonna apply a little on the inner tear ducts of my eyes just to make them pop a little bit more. And for an everyday makeup look, I typically just grab like a gloss and just throw it on my lips, which is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna be using this Patrick Star and Matte Cosmetics. I believe this is in the shade Cream Pie, and it is a lip gloss. These MAC lip glosses tend to be a lot more opaque, so for something quick and easy, you can just literally grab one and just kind of throw it on, and you're pretty much good to go. And last but not least, I'm gonna set my makeup with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Make sure she stays locked and loaded. 
All right, guys, and that pretty much completes this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me kind of recreate my everyday makeup look. So again, I feel like this kind of turned into like a how to finesse your makeup tutorial, but this is literally kind of what I do like on an everyday basis. Again, there's a lot of steps that I do cut out if it's just kind of like something more casual compared to something that I would do for like a carpet or like an event. So like I said, a big focus on complexion. I really like to take my time with concealing um, and just making sure that my skin looks absolutely flawless. And I hope you guys enjoyed a couple of my little tricks when it comes to like the eyes and a few other things that I mentioned in this video. If you did like it, make sure you guys thumbs up this video, leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys think. Now, before you guys come for me, I do wanna say, Again, this is my version of my everyday makeup look. I know it's definitely probably like a lot more dramatic for some of you. This might be your go-to like event look. I don't know, but this is kind of like what is comfortable for me. So just kind of keep that in mind before you attack me in the comments. And before you go, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and make sure you're following me on all of my social media, my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, if you're still on there. I'm trying. I really am. Uh, and other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah.